welcome back guys now let's see the second question of bi-weekly contest 60 uh, like first of all i will explain the question what the question is like we are given certain ones and certain zeros in a matrix and there and if one is present then one will be present in a group and that group would be a rectangle okay so like and what we have to find is for each group we have to find the top left and the bottom right one in the group in the group of one only we have to find like the top top left and bottom right and then we have to return a vector of all the for all such groups we have to find this four length array r1 c1 r2 c2 and they will represent the top left and bottom right points and we have to return an array for all such groups so what i will do is like let's see the approach so what i will do is i will check i will go to each and every column then i will check like each and every element i will go and then i then i will do a bfs like if there is a one in it let's suppose here a one comes then what i will do is i will do a bfs and if a one comes here since i am moving like this in a for loop okay like i am moving column wise i will do move like this in a for loop like i equal to zero then j equal to one to m similarly i equal to one j equal to one to m okay so this is how i am moving so if i encounter a one that would be the top left one okay so i will i would get this two index like r1 c1 i have got then what i will do is then i will run a bfs on the from this from this node from this this cell i will run a bfs then i will reach to the nearby cells and what i have done is like the last cell that i visit through bfs would be the one that i would be that i would consider as bottom most right cell okay so this would be it and then what i would do is i simply put these four points into a vector and i would return that vector so now let's see the code so i have done as i have said like this is the function that i have made inbound to check whether the neighboring uh, neighboring cells of a per from a particular cell lie in a line within the range or not okay so this is uh, this isn't of much use you can directly see the code uh, like i have let's reach here so yeah if visit already visited one we encounter then we would continue and uh, or if the land of ij is zero then also we would continue otherwise i have made a queue for vector uh, sorry queue of pair and what i have done is i have marked visited for that node and like simply i have run a bfs so i can i will explain a bit of that also like what i have done is q dot push the pair currently we are searching for then similarly what i have done is like i will take that first pair and i would pop it and then what i would do is i would move to the neighboring cells and check whether they lie inside within the range or not like what i have done is dx dy like plus one minus one similarly a plus dx of k what i have done is like uh, basically i am checking the nearby cells of a particular from a particular cell if they are within the range if they are not visited and their land is land of xy value is also one then i would go to them then i would run a bfs from there like I, basically i will push them into the queue so and also as i told that i am taking the rightmost bottom right point like at last so when the q dot size becomes zero then i would take this point which has come as my bottom right point and i would insert all these points that i got into the vector then i simply return it so yeah this was the question thank you very much